astrophysicist, visionary, genius. All these are words that we frequently associate with Stephen Hawking. A man who helped humans understand many mysteries of the universe. We remember him for his incredible intellect and his strong will to live despite his illness. Today, everyone, and I do mean everyone, is talking about him, his achievements, how he was such a strong person. We thought we'd do something just a little different. Hello there, Knowledge Tribe. I'm Vishnu Rao, and here are five interesting things you never knew about Stephen Hawking. Number one, he was not a good student. You hear that Hawking passed away on the same day that Einstein was born. You might even know that Stephen Hawking was called Einstein in school. But do you know what else they have in common? They were not great students. <gasps> Shocking, I know. But here's the truth. When he was about 9 years old, Hawking's grades ranked among the worst in class. Over time, they got better, but they continued to hover around average. However, his genius shone through even though the grades were mediocre and his teacher's belief in him was validated when he blazed through his scholarship exams and earned his seat at Oxford. Number 2. He appeared on several TV shows. Now, remember all those words we frequently associate with Stephen Hawking? Astrophysicist, visionary, genius. Well, you can add TV star to that list as well. That's right, the maverick genius has also made cameo appearances in Star Trek, The Next Generation, The Simpsons, Futurama and The Big Bang Theory. His synthesized voice was also used in the Pink Floyd song Keep Talking and Hawking also appeared in several documentaries including The Real Stephen Hawking, Stephen Hawking Profile and the documentary series Stephen Hawking Master of the Universe. Number 3. Stephen Hawking Best Selling Author now, Stephen Hawking was a genius who wrote a lot of books, a lot of scientific books. Now, these don't really make it to the top of bestseller lists, right? Right? Wrong! Hawking's book, A Brief History of Time, aims to explain the mysteries of the universe to everyone. The book was a massive success, having sold over 10 million copies worldwide. It was translated into 35 languages and also spent 5 years on the Sunday Times bestsellers list. Wow, I know. Number 4. Stephen Hawking, Children's Book Author Stephen Hawking helped write a children's book. Let that sink in for a minute. Now, while Hawking's scientific theories and books are well known, in 2007, he co-wrote a book with his daughter Lucy called George's Secret Key to the Universe. This was followed by George's Cosmic Treasure Hunt in 2009, George and the Big Bang in 2011, George and the Unbreakable Code in 2014, and George and the Blue Moon in 2016. These books were aimed at explaining heavy scientific concepts like black holes to children and were extremely popular. Number 5. He experienced zero G. Now, given the amount of work Stephen Hawking put into examining the mysteries of the universe, it was fitting that he was actually supposed to go into space. While he was never able to take a suborbital flight, he was, however, able to experience zero G. In 2007, courtesy Zero Gravity Core, he was able to experience a total of 4 minutes of weightlessness. Speaking afterwards, Hawking said, that the future of the human race, if it is going to have a long one, will be in outer space. He supported private space exploration in the hopes that it would make space tourism affordable for the public. So, if we ever pack our bags to travel elsewhere in the universe, let us say a big thank you to Stephen Hawking. Well, there you have it, Knowledge Tribe. Know of any other facts we missed? Let us know in the comment section below. I'm Vishnu Rao and I will talk to you soon. Also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking right here. For more such fun videos, you can click right here. Bye!